All right, guys, welcome back to the Good Good Desert Open. This is part two. For those of you that don't know what's going on, we kind of already uploaded the first part, which was like the first seven holes. And now this is going to be the last seven holes. You guys are going to see who actually wins the Good Good Desert Open. Bubby, what do we have going on? Yeah, the reason part two is going on this part, this is the part of the live stream that lived on NBC and Peacock. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that made this event possible. You heard the man Garrett. It's been some really competitive, really good golf from the first half. Now in the second half, See who brings home the dub. I'll tell you right now, some teams go incredibly low. We're excited to share you all the good golf. Might not come from my group, but that's all right. <laughs> Thank you guys again for all the love and support that makes stuff like this possible. This is the first of many opens like this to come y'all's way. You boys go low out there. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> and NBC Sports brings you the Good Good Desert Open. Brought to you by our friends at Golf Galaxy. This at Grass Clippings at Rolling Hills. So much about checking out grass clippings at Rolling Hills, everything they've been able to do with the lights on, playing some night golf. It's awesome to see up close right now, 53 degrees, feels a lot chillier. Trust me, when you're out in the desert and the sun goes down at night. Let's take a look at the format. Two person scramble, 14 holes, 11 par threes, three drivable par fours, 29 total teams, Dre, and the low total it's going to win this. And we march right along here on Peacock. George Savarikas, Andres Gonzalez, Blair O'Neill on the course handling interviews. We got Riggs and Francis from Barstool walking with these groups. Riggs is with this group. Oh, yeah, be the number and it goes in the hole. Short? Yeah. Be the number and it goes in the hole. Short. Good job. Oh, it's just short. I just caught it a hair heavy. I think that was number. Yeah, I'm going caught it just fat. Okay. I was totally gonna forget that, 100%. Moment ago, Josh Kelly, the trick shot artist at the 11th. And Mac Boucher. A little simul golf action on the 11th. I think it's so cool when you see people do that, where they just hit big hooks, big cuts. Talk to me, Riggs. Uh, we got Micah here, who incredibly nice strong, strong compact hey, individual nice who is hitting hey. right at the flag hey. stick. Go, go in, go in the hole. Uh, damn. Hey. They love it, we oh. love it. Great is shot from Micah. Oh, that's this tasty. group is vibing right now, on, high energy. I, I, I would keep an eye on this featured group if you weren't already, which is a little bit ironic to say, but trust me, these guys are heating up right now. Good golf is infectious, and these guys are all starting all right, good to hit good shots here at the here. six. All right, here we go. You know, Sharp capable of something special. Yeah, we're through six on a seven. Love this move. Love okay. the end hey, Tig, you know what? When you hit a shot like that, I can go ahead and, and, and hit one way right. Right? That's the plan. <laughs> 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 All right, Tig, man, I like that. I tell you, that's just. Woo. I'm going to walk this one. I'll make you down. I nice swing, Tig. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Yeah. All right, hold on. These guys were wondering when the uh, cart cam's on. We just have to assume it's always hot. Sea Geek's always watching. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're really close, but you're close too. Curious how they got going the wrong way on the car path. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look pretty straightforward. <laughs> Luke Kwan now at eight. Up one at the eighth a moment yeah, ago. The there it is. Yes, sir. Oh, that was a team birdie. Oh, that's look at that. Team, team birdie yeah. indeed. A little yin and yang, wow. and by no oh, means track, track. is that any sort of cultural reference. Didn't break as much, or you'll launch it more right. I did expect 
It didn't break guys Steven to make this putt. He said as soon as he sees okay. one go in, they're all going to start to fall. It touched the hole, gave it a look. Mm. After Luke made his, it just seems like every putt that he's hitting has a chance. He finally got one here, so maybe he can open those floodgates. They are the low team in our group at four under. Cormick for birdie. Ooh. Heartbreak. Par putt for Page at the ninth. There's no gimme. Yes, it is. And stay a couple under. Block at the eighth. Raises that left side. Francis, there's an old video of Dalkey beating Rory in an arm wrestling contest. Could you take Dalkey? I think uh, if if I committed to it, I, I could. Uh, I, I would need to. I've been doing a lot of pelotoning. Um, I don't really know why. Just out of nowhere, I picked it, picked that up, and and I don't, I don't love my body, but it's certainly a bottom half heavy situation. Thanks for the clarification. Confident putt on the last hole. It's moving a little from his left to his right. He strokes it back and threw a nice, confident putt, and he buries it. Nice it. fist pump there. Rate that fist pump. That is back-to-back -back fist pumps, and I think there's more in the bag for that team. Look out for these guys. But that's three under par. They're kind of buzzing over here on seven. I think we're on seven. Are we on seven? I'm not sure, but there was a lot of shots close to this hole, and I feel like this was the jolt of energy we needed as a group. I can breathe now. A little high, gentlemen. Tickler left for Grant. What did you see there, Wesson? I saw a little too much speed there. Uh, Grant's, Grant's got a good line on it. He's been rolling the ball fantastic over the last couple of years. Make a prediction. Be bold. Uh, I'm calling high side lip out and uh, a look of despair, knowing that the, the championship has slipped through their fingers. Oh, go. he hits it. And he buries it! Yeah, come, come on! on yes. Come on, come on, come on baby. The crowd goes Coming right in the middle, oh, fellas. The crowd goes God. mild. That took forever. Birdies across the board yeah, on the seventh like for our year. final group. Honestly, dude, I got to hey. play by play, too. Did and you? early called the oh, crowd. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's bad. Look at him, he's bad. Hey, hey Grant. There we go. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. We're back. We're back. The Good Good Blackout Putter is now live. This one is completely blacked out right here with the writing on the back. And if you want to have the coolest looking putter on the greens, go to goodgoodgolf.com. Go buy yourself one. To beat the best, or to beat your best, it takes a standard most aren't used to like perfecting our seamless aero design for ultra-consistent flight, innovating new processes to create a hyper-fast soft core, using advanced materials to make a ball feel like nothing before. When your standards for performance are high, play the ball that sets them even higher. Introducing Chrome Tour, the new gold standard. DOD King, last podcast I saw he was on, he was 470 days T-free at the 14th. It's not a T using weasel like us, Dre. We know there's a little bank to the right side of this hole. All right, come on, give them what they want. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Seven five seven. What's up? Rapid Norfolk V8. <laughs> Got a little hype man out there.
Riggs around the eighth now. I mean, morale's got to be sky high after we had birdies across the board last hole. Hey, the, the morale's high here, a lot of energy. What are we looking at here? I'm talking to Grant Horvath. Talk to me about the yardage, about the feel. What do you got right now? Um, 159 yards. We're coming off a birdie right now. Um, really tricky putt on the last hole. Glad we can make that, but it's, it's kind of quiet without the fans. I feel like we're definitely locking in right now. And we're ready for the, for the final stretch. We gotta take advantage of this hole right now. This is the last one without fans and without, you know, that side of it. Let's see what George does here. Yeah, this, guys, for those of you guys listening, this is what they call the amen corner of grass clippings, where the okay. fans can't quite get back here. <laughs> so it's nice. It's a nice, quiet time. These guys can hone in. Garrett and Grant are dialed. What kind of club you guys got? What are you thinking here? We need to be dialed, that's for sure. What do you have? You I have an eight. eight. I have a nine. Yeah, I like that. You're always one club longer than me. Yeah. Um, I like the nine for you. I like that, too. Is that true? How does that feel? I don't know if that's fully true, but... Uh, is Irons, it true? you deal off them. Really? You're really, you you're, so? you're, you're striking is, you really do. You're, you have a lot of shuffling. Great. It's a sneaky far though. And the people don't really talk about it enough. Okay, Wesley Bryan, LLC. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice thing. Wesley Bryan. All right. <laughs> safe one, Wesley Bryan in the middle of the green. He doesn't love it. Like people Brian are kind of making fun of him on the tee, to be honest with each other. He <laughs> looks like it. Pretty good shot there, though, Riggs. He's looking at an uphill putt, maybe 15 feet, not bad. Look, that's a shot that Riggs from Barstool would pretty much give his right leg for, but these guys seem a little bit disappointed. Are you happy with that, Wesley Bryan, or no? No. I want. I just want to see balls go at the hole. I mean, that, like, in, in competition, a great safe shot. But right here, right now, I just want to hit it like Garrett Clark for it. Actually, no, that's turning over. That's some more line. Oh, spin back. Give us a read. Apologize to the folks at home. We're right near the airport here. This is as authentic right, of an experience as you're going to get. We got Pull planes flying over. We That's got right, lights. Though. We're in the amen corner, like I said, so it's a little bit quiet over here. We got Grant Horvat, beautiful golf swing. He's got that gorgeous, uh, almost like sea island blue on there. Yeah, and he's got some ankles showing, per usual. He's an ankle shower, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. He's got some great shoes on. I, he's starting to smile a little bit, which I like. I feel like he was maybe a little locked up early. In the yeah, no, it is nice to see that smile. He, well, you say that every time, Grant. <laughs> what do you think, what club do you think he's got here? Guess. He's got eight iron. He's gonna be aiming about four to six feet right of this hole, and he's gonna be drawing it in. I call, I call a looker here. I think we're all gonna get excited in it. Wow. Like I said, we're all gonna get excited. Oh, guys go, in hole. go in the hole. Go in the hole. Just go in. Oh my goodness, that was so good. It's like four feet away. That should have gone in. I can't see it. It's four feet away. It's just left of the hole. It's like three or four feet left. That would have been my first hole in my life. Oh. Ever? Ever. That was I mean, I had a 60-yard hole in one. But I mean, I can't see. We don't count those. Yeah, nobody's count those. counting that. That would have been, been the first one. Oh, look, it's rolling back down. Ah, two for looking. <laughs> Somebody put it in the hole. Great swing. Such a jerk move. Love it. That's unfortunate. Hey, nice call. Dude, how about that? And no, no announcer's jinx here tonight. He called that yard for yard. Yeah, there's a big camera back there. All right, Mike. Man, it took a peek, didn't you? You guys know Mr. Morris. What do you think he's hitting here? How do you think it's going to go? Probably got a nine iron. It's probably nice and full. Yeah, he's, he's not in his head. He's probably going to try and play a little cut in there. This is Garrett Clark, by the way. That would make sense, right? Just maybe like a 93% swing. He does have this thing Right. If you're going so he might have a little 85% swing. <laughs> I got a good laugh out of it. <laughs> so, tell you what, Riggs, everybody seems to be real comfortable right now. Nobody's worried about talking anymore. We're in it. He stiffed it last time. That's way right. We're gonna be honest here. Well, they're in corner and still might have hit somebody. That was close. <laughs> Plane flying over. That's a nice buffer because boy, we don't want to hear what he has to say after that. What happened there? Open face, something like that? I didn't think I had enough clubs, so I was trying to swing hard, which is just 
you know, not knowing my distance is good enough. That's what that comes down to. I need Matt here. Cause Talk to me through your part shot here. What clubs you got? What do you think he's going to do? I think he's got an eight iron, and I feel pretty confident about this. It's, it's a really, it's kind of a green light situation for him. He's, he's been hitting it really good. Green light and green outfit. I like it. Exactly. I mean, I want to putt. I want to putt. I want you to putt. My eyes aren't my biggest quality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah given the circumstances, I love that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Matt. You guys can make that. All Good right. swing, Matt. We gotta Back go. to I you mean, guys. We gotta putt at it. I mean, Riggs, you just right. slay and tick. Let's make one. You, you, I mean, you hit a terrible shot. You go, hey, talk me through that. What happened? It's like, it's like, well, you saw it. You have eyes. Come on. Yeah. Look, Nobody. I, you know, I tried to get it from Tig. I tried to get into the science of an open club <laughs> piece and all that, which I'm extremely <laughs> familiar with. And he didn't really want to talk about it. So, uh, you know, there's not much more I can do there. <laughs> would, would you want to talk about it? You want it? Good all right. Huh? I might sit on it. All right. Mm. All right, Airbnb. I saw videos of it. It's incredible. I saw videos of it. You guys come by. I love you. It's gonna be late though. Something good. Dude, I slept three hours last night. Three, four hours. I filmed all day today. I slept four hours too. That was because I was nervous. I was nervous. I was like excited. I got really nervous right before we pulled up here. Really? I started to really feel. Oh yeah. I didn't feel it. The anticipation. Delusional confidence. DOD King for birdie. It was tough. That face is just not flat enough. You know, the fan here taking off the jacket. He means business. Taking off the credential, too. What is going on? <laughs> Growing the game. Oh, that had the line. Help the man. <laughs> Mark Borgmeyer is an absolute unit. That guy is huge. Your words, my thoughts, man. Peak at the ninth green. We're going to see those pots in just a moment, but back to aiming corner. Yeah, go back to the eighth. Hold on. Yeah, these guys got about a 25 footer that looks a little bit uphill, but those of us that are local here, it's a little bit down valley. That one snuck about six, seven feet by. They're not going to be happy with that. Sharp's got a lot of positive energy right now, so I would look for this one to scare the hole, guys. Mike is just not on his game this hole. Riggs, how long did it take for you to say that you're a local here? How many months? Guys, this one's sneaky uh, down valley. That's what I'm trying to tell everybody on the coverage. I heard this whole valley thing here in Arizona. I'm a little bit confused about it. I don't know. I don't understand it. Are you? You spend a lot of time here. Are you from here? I live here. That's what I thought. I love it here. I'm from St. Louis. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. You're a genius. Ah, no way. You're welcome. That's crazy. You live. I live 20 yeah, minutes north of here. It's great. I don't even know if we're live right now. Are we live right now? Yeah, we're live. Oh, amazing. Oh, we are we're live? How do you guys like Arizona? It's never nice weather when you're here, I feel like. I like Arizona. I was told it's it was going to be. Dry, but I like it. Yeah, I was told it was going to be sunny and perfect, and now I'm. It's a little cold. You guys are both Florida guys, right? Are you Dallas, Texas? Yeah. I'm, I'm in Dallas, but I love Florida. I hate Florida. Really? Yeah, no offense to everybody out there from Florida. Florida. I'm not a humidity guy. See, I am a humidity guy. It feels moist on my skin. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh gosh. That is oh. Oh. <coughs> I hate to say it. We kind of needed it. <laughs> yeah, you, you hate to see that. You really. <laughs> That's unfortunate. A dry eye in the house. <laughs> All right, Wes is going to do it. I think this is going dead center. I'm going to predict another one. I'm over like 11. Riggs is already with so much confidence. He just knows it's going in. He might be the most confident guy I've ever seen. He does not get nervous. It's crazy. 
You have to be insane to do that. Delusional confidence in yourself. Yeah. I love delusional confidence. Oh, but he missed it. He missed it. Come on, G, get in there. Get in there. Guys, there's a, there was a uh, something we don't talk about, but a big celebration from the Grant Garrett team when that missed. <laughs> Potentially. Um, Might not have been caught on camera, but <laughs> just one of those quiet That's me, fist pumps. We've got Luke lining up putt from a long, long way. He was doing that thing like a penguin where he shifts his weight from one foot to the other. Lots of preparation for this long putt that well, I'd love to see it go in. You said that with such sincerity. They're the only couple that has a chance in our group, so I want to stay relevant. Riggs was questioning your judgment marrying Luke. Yeah, I, was, I heard him say that. It only took him about seven holes to come up with that <laughs> joke. <laughs> Slip delay. Landed, landed about as well as a Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> Doors blown off. All right, here. All right, we have a. We have a look at the 14th tee right now. Kyle Raposo. 68 yards here on this last hole. Using the side stop. Oh, that could be real good. How fun are scrambles, though? Not the best. I feel like there should be a tournament for the pros where it's just a scramble. Michael Block Go and side. Brad have not been able to get anything going. Brad came up to me a moment ago and he said, what are we supposed to do? And I said, Brad, if you don't know, I certainly don't. Brad's played at the Masters. Can you believe that? I've heard of it. I've never even been to Augusta. Is that true? Yeah. Francis, you ever been to the Masters? No, I haven't. Although these days, well, no, never mind. I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Come on. I, I know we've switched over to Peacock, so... <laughs> Gotta watch myself. <laughs> Make or miss, Francis. I like his chances here. Nope, that's going high, too. They keep hitting it on the high side. They've missed everything on the high side. Do people seem to have trouble reading the putts out there just with, at nighttime under the lights? If they are, that's nonsense. That's nonsense. I've, I've heard it, though. This, this is Steve. I like Steve's chances here. Steve, I'm telling you, when Steve gets the putter going, that hole gets oh. oh. a little too much pace. Francis, what's the worst excuse you've heard on a golf course? Uh... I gotta, I gotta think. <laughs> I once played so badly and the group I was playing with was playing well and I told them that I felt like I was the make-a-wish child uh, in the group. That any second, you know, a camera crew was gonna come over the next dune and reveal that all my dreams had come true and I got to play with my heroes for the day. Nobody else thought it was funny. It was, that was for me. My group is not, not playing particularly well. There's Luke Kwan. How's, how's the vibe in the group? The group behind them, everybody's just real happy. Getting excited for the opponents, each other. Yeah, I, I, I think people are all right. I don't know. I think there's some disappointment, probably largely from, from Brad and Blocky. I think that they probably thought they had a decent chance to 
to win this thing, and they just haven't been able to get anywhere. But overall, people signing autographs, you know, shaking hands, doing the thing, so it's good. It's solid. Yeah, the only thing in the back of their mind, they know they're running out of holes. I know, exactly. <laughs> All right, back to you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Smart. Hey, yeah, cheers, thanks guys. for coming out, guys. Yeah, hey, yeah, of course, Jacob, nice seeing you, brother. Huh? Yeah, thanks. cheers. Oh. oh. Vibe seems real good <laughs> in this group, huh? Run those guys over. Yeah, run over. Nah, uh, nah, I ain't, ain't running you guys over, dude. I would never do that to you. <laughs> Where do I go now, though? Up here. Natural bird. Love to see that. Kaz with the two on the 14th. All right, we're looking at the board right now. Man. We're leading a bunch of teams. Five now at five under par, T2. The team with the most holes left at five under par, the Bryan Bros. They're five under through eight. Uh, they've got a great chance, especially coming up to nine. The easiest par three, 182 yards. Second longest par three on the course. Riggs, we just got through Raymond Corner. We're back with the fans now. Set us up on the ninth. Yeah, we're back in the crowd here. Um, you know, this is kind of a friendly sh uh, uh, swing here. The pen's right in the middle of the green. I think these guys are licking their chops. They got a lot of confidence right now. Garrett Clark, give me a uh, description of what shot you're looking at here. What are you going to hit? All I know is it's 174 yards, and if you make a hole in one, you win a Rolex. And I don't have a watch, so I want that Rolex. Do you want a Rolex? I want a Rolex. I want you to get a Rolex. I would love a Rolex right now, but I also have an 800. And George. I mean, it's at the pin every time. It's at the pin every time. Good shot, George. Great shot, G. My George guess is that was a little seven baby iron cut. there. That was probably a little sawed off seven iron. That's just my guess. You got an eight. I got both. I don't really know yet. I don't okay. know what I want to do. Great. What do you have? Seven. Seven. One seventy-four. Grand Horvat's gonna jump in the chat. What do you got here? Uh, One hundred and seventy-four yards. We're going with a seven iron. Um, I'm trying to have short-term memory loss after that missed putt. Yeah. I'm trying to forget Maybe. about it. It's tough, but we now have the opportunity to win a Rolex. Missing it. We took a little bit out of our... Baby cut right at it. Riggs, is there any side action among these guys here? You know, uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're allowed to talk about, so I can't really say anything. Is there any side action between these groups? There was going to be, but there hasn't been. <laughs> there was going to be, but I don't think there is anymore. There's I need a, to get something going. Guys, there was a couple glares that went on during <laughs> that answer, so read into that what you will. I can neither confirm nor deny. Micah Morse is up. He's probably got like a lob wedge. Bulging through this hoodie. Oh, the program. That hoodie never stood a chance, guys. That hoodie's been calling his mom all day long. Sharp stuff. Everybody's rooting for him to get a hole in one. We got a guy doing push ups out here on the tee. We have 
exited Amen Corner. And we're back in the mix here, which feels good. There's a lot of energy. Sharp's an energy guy. I think this is going to be a good one. But I'm 0 for 12 on predictions. So. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> we need a Rick's predictor that, graphic. Make that putt too, huh? I thought you guys were making that. <laughs> it was four feet. That's straight. Yeah, he missed the green left, so just, yeah, you know. Just leave him alone, Riggs. We got another guy doing push-ups, so I'll be honest, looks like he was another push-up so in about 15 years, so I'm actually happy for him. <laughs> game respects game. And now he's humping the ground. For like six holes. Can you do that many push-ups? Yeah, I can. So we were saying your your hoodie here feels like it's been <laughs> screaming for help. Oh yeah, you know. Didn't like it. Didn't love it, guys. There's a chance we were standing right in the middle of the camera there, so apologize for that. We're gonna step over to the left here, Michael Morris. Talk me through the shot with Grant Horvat. Uh, Grant here, so he's gonna have a perfect little about three degree end out path with a one and a half degree open face, or closed face, and this is gonna be a perfect little draw. He's got a seven iron in hand, and he's gonna hit it. It's 174 yards, he's playing about 176. He, he's gonna hit it about 178. He was between the seven and eight. You agree with the seven? He's going seven. Yeah, he's going seven. I get you ever played golf with him before? It's hard to tell. Um, yeah, a couple times. Yeah. He, he's kind of annoying to play with of how good he is and how consistent he is. That's what I say. Impressively boring. Yeah, he's a boring golfer, but those are the good ones. The best part is that was one of his worst shots, and he's in the right center of the green. Yeah, the green. Yeah, exactly. Must be nice. I matches against him. Me neither. Until we put money on the line, and then I can usually get in his head. Thank you, Micah. Back to you guys. All right, we got some uh, party putts coming up on the ninth. Nine under in the lead at the Good Good Desert Open, presented by our friends at Golf Galaxy. More to come from Tempe after the short break. Of all of Arizona's courses, one shines the brightest a premier venue for golfers to put their game on the line and find out if they've got what it takes to go low under the lights. Welcome to the next era of golf. Welcome to the Grass League. I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey, honey. I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey. Back at it with the Good Good Desert Open, presented by Golf Galaxy. George Savarikas, Andres Gonzalez here on Peacock, Blair O'Neill. Riggs and Francis from Barstool rounding out our broadcast team. We've got Francis doing a little drive by saying hi to us. Yeah, this is my first time working alongside Francis, and I can't wait to do it again. Francis looks like a man who has just stepped out of a freezer after a deep thaw. Peter Finch and Trotty, six under through 11. They birdie out, Trey. They could get to nine under. Tie it up. Speechless. Again, Come on, give, 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 gotta, holes. you got to give me something I, here, pal. I am sorry. I'm, I'm sitting here and <laughs> Paige is on the, on the TV. I got quiet. Travel par four in the house. 185 from this tee box if you're taking it directly at the pin. Tough to tell. Ben Hayden on the 14th. Ben Hatton, pardon me. Butter. Again, you get this thing started online here at Grass Clippings, and the ball tracks. There hasn't been too many balls bumping around 
rolling end over end. Very smooth surfaces here. He's on the good, good golf team, played on PGA Tour Canada. Played his college golf, or graduated from Kansas Wesleyan University. With our final group on the ninth. Okay, Riggs, since you've done such a stellar job with your prognostication, what are your predictions for this green? You know, George, I've been predicting that everyone's going to make it every time, so I'm going to try to reverse jinx myself here and claim that everyone's going to miss. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm just going to predict everyone's missing. And guess what? That puts me in more of a win-win, because if they go in, then I did something. I sacrificed myself. It's crazy. It's been insane. Seriously. It's been surreal, so thank you all. Seriously. Yeah. We thank you, you to NBC. Thank you to Golf Galaxy. Thank you to everybody involved. Thank you to all the fans who Seriously. showed up. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, it couldn't have been a better turnout. Yeah. Sure, Grant and I just missed a four-footer, but yeah, don't talk about that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's make this. All right. Uh, I like a lot of right. Give that read, Ben Fellows. All right, Riggs, you want to hop back in now? Guys, there's a Riggs chant going on over here in the crowd, so. Yeah, a little Riggs whisper now. Turned into a whisper, I swear to God, they were chanting earlier, but I'll never be able to prove it. Horvat for birdie. Whoa. It's very nice. Okay, this is a big putt here. I got the That's not really giving your partner a whole lot of confidence right there. That putt's not good. No, guys, that one ran a little bit by. These guys, you know, they're, they're pushing a little bit after that bogey on the drivable par four. They've been forcing it and they've played well, but they missed that short one on the last one. This one needs to go oh, in. Garrett. Oh, no. oh, that's too good not to drop. Oh, that hurts. Oh. You can't feel bad about it, though. No, he liked it. He did a little bit of a cocky walk, and the golf gods don't like that, so they said, no, sir. Not today. This is our hottest group on the course right now. I'm going to make a bold prediction. These guys are making this one, guys. Get the guys sitting down, Rick. Almost blindsided me with that one. <laughs> oh. That was a bad part. I'm pretty bad at this prediction. <laughs> you are so bad. Holy cow. You might be the worst <laughs> predictor God. of all time. God, this is, these guys are so good at golf. They've never missed an uphill dead straight putt that uh -oh. poorly until I predicted they were going to make it. I don't think you could get 13 straight predictions wrong if you tried. <laughs> if I was just on the other side of that, I'd be rich. I wouldn't have to be here talking to you guys. <laughs> See the PGA Tour winner. Oh, that's on me, everybody. That one hurts. They're four back with five holes to go. That might be the difference. Nice shot in here, Matt Sharp. Now, don't say anything, Riggs. My lips are sealed. We threw the key away. And just call this a hair outside the right edge. Flutter right on Tig. He's talking to himself. That's never good. You got to want it. Ooh, he just pulled a Francis. He knocked it in. I don't really know. Busted Jack Colance for birdie on 11. Come on now, Jack. Get in. Well, bam! Starting to see things fall out there, and you know that the group's behind here, and so they gotta feel like there's some pressure to start getting the ball in the hole faster. Riggs, you ever had a colder stretch of predictions in your life? If I was just on the other side of these, again, I, I, I wouldn't have to be here. I'd be on some beach somewhere instead of watching these guys putt. But I still think Sharfy's going to make this. That's my prediction. He's a man who meets the moment. Oh, over 14, guys. It's all right, Matt. It's all right. 
How did I push that that bad? Just emphatically getting that pin back in the hole. Sometimes that's your only release. Take yeah, it easy. That, oh, that pin can't believe the force that was just observed <laughs> upon it. It's never seen that before. <laughs> That's par four on the course. This is the 10th, just 247 yards. That's going along with the dog leg though. If they take it straight at it, it's only 210 yards. Francis. Oh, he let go of his club. That's going out left. Everyone got a little chilly. We waited a long time. Big. Big pile up, big traffic jam, you know, but. Francis, when we saw you making the turn, it's like you had seen a ghost. Yeah, I came in looking for some food and there was none. And uh, that was a, a dagger to my morale. Spoken like a true scavenger. Yeah, get out of the way, Block. <laughs> Not indicating that he's in a two iron here, by the way. Be a lot cooler if he did. Ooh, this is on a good line, guys. Oh, that looks tasty. Ooh, we got that for the elusive Big Bird. Putt for E coming up. That's Steve. The Steve Chance ringing out. Clearly these fans have not seen how little he's done so far. They're not fair weather through thick and thin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a bloopy, balloony, spinny fade way out to the right. No belief. Oh, I think someone got hit. Did that hit somebody? I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> you said that with a little too much glee. We couldn't tell from our camera angle. Uh, Did you, could you see anything, Dre? I could not. It looks like there's someone with some sort of shopping bag who bent down and paid. You can tell that from that distance, that particular style of bend down. It was just, it just coincided perfectly with when I thought the ball was arriving. Ooh, that's called a little quacker. That's going way left. Trying to find his way back to grass, but that will be in the desert mud after all the rain that we received today. Definitely been there. Yeah, keep the camera on. <laughs> Hit a snap hook, pat it back. <laughs> it's different, man. You out here playing in front of people, you don't want to. <laughs> have too much camera work. That's not as far left, but finds grass. Francis, how's your golf game? Riggs is hyping it up. Oh, golly, that's generous. It used to be solid. Uh, and then something happened. I don't know what. Nobody's really told me. But I just became afraid. I, I, I had a lot of fear. And then the fear made everything worse. Was it the loss to the good, good guys? Playing with them, you know, should have reinstated some faith in myself. But it didn't. I liked being with them. That's a great shot by Michael Block. Uh, I enjoyed it, but yeah, I, I, I waffled pretty often between uh, throwing my clubs away and then realizing I got them for free since we're sponsored, and that would be a pointless thing to do. So, hard to say. Seems like it would be more pointless if you bought them, though. Well, it would be more financially silly. 
I also don't know that I can sell them since we were sponsored and I got them for free. I feel like they would know and that would be a major conflict. How often are you able to get out on the course? I guess probably once a week. What, but yeah, the, living in the Northeast is tough. It's, the courses are shuttered from November yeah, through uh, <laughs> April. Are you in the city? Yeah, I live in Brooklyn, yeah. yeah I was going to say, let's listen in. Guys signing some autographs here. All right. Guys, watch out. We're going up to the tee box. Yeah, I'll see you, man. We'll catch you next hole. Of course. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Man. Awesome, man. Cool, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, that's thank you. Thank you so much. No, you're good, man. Let's do it. I'm not sure who's it. It's just mine. Oh, thank you. Cool, cool. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. dude. Good luck. You mind if I get one, Garrett? Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Absolutely. Can I say it's right. playing 12? Par 4? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Can I go and do buddy? Yeah. I know. I know. We're here. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I got it. No more. We got to get up. You're soaking up the scene at the Good Good Desert Open. Everyone I talked to had watched the Good Good videos, but had met the guys, and they said, ah, oh, they're so genuine. When you meet them, that's exactly what they're going to embody. We've seen it tonight here in Tepe, Arizona. What? Dude, <laughs> what? I quit. I quit life. That moment right there is, it's one that I still to this day can't really put into words. We just been filming a bunch of different videos and then all of a sudden we came to Shadow Glen. I mean, in my career, my golf career, I haven't really hit that many great shots in my life. And something just different about this day, all three of us step up, Bubby steps up, hits the green, Micah steps up, hits the pin, he's eight feet. I step up and somehow make a hole in one on a par four. One of the most surreal experiences I've ever been able to experience in the game of golf. It was just an absolute beautiful moment, not only that I made it, but that I was able to experience this with all my friends. Obviously you guys saw there's, all of us are running towards the green, all of us are absolutely in shock. And somehow we had three camera angles, something that, I mean, was just off the cuff. That's just part of the reasons why I absolutely love this company and, and the things that we get to do, not only with ourselves, but the things we get to share with all of you guys, all the fans, all the people that are loving it and supporting it. And we're just so, so excited to be able to share this content with you guys. What do you think? Yeah, got it. Good, good. Desert Open presented by Golf Galaxy on Peacock. George Savory, Cassandra Gonzalez. Is there a bigger flex in golf than pulling on a par four? I had to research that and go into that video so many more times because I just did not find it to be real. It's so unreal. Like even watching it again right there, I get goosebumps. Oh no! On the 12th now, grass clippings at Rolling Hills in Tempe, Arizona. This is Scootsy's group. Tartouche. Busted Jack, the other twosome. Here's Mason Nutt, Murray put on the way. Wow, we had to like that. <laughs> Liked it until he didn't, George. I got three teams at six under, T2. Brian Bros are still T5 at five under par, nine under in the lead. There's the ball by Ben Cooper. Trotty on the 13th tee. He and Peter Finch at six under. yards playing down a few just a little flip wedge oh, that's a nice action Riggs hasn't been calling too many great shots they also called two par or two hole in once Riggs did that was Riggs wasn't it he wanted two two aces today who called two aces earlier? You you care, shut your mouth, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to say it. Oh, oh he called two. <laughs> I just see wow. I just, OK, let's just see it. No, it's just not. Well, it's not I mean, the camera's not rolling. No, it's not. They're not rolling. Uh, I think he's rolling. <laughs> OK, here, I'll block. 
it's not that bad. No, it's, it's not. not. It's not. not. It looks <laughs> very natural. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're here live with Matt Sharp McDonald's sponsored shorthead. How we doing? Okay, so it's not that bad. more of a five head, you know. That's tough. Sporanic for birdie at 11. Oh, here we go. Fill it up. Remember, the one time I went to the American Century Championship was covering for Golf Channel back, I want to say 2017 or 18. Pitch shot 71 in the final round there, Edgewood Tahoe. When she gets going, I mean, her, her game's legit. She can play golf. I'll tell you what, I want to see that putter up close. That thing looks super fancy. Look, how about that all black good kid putter? That thing looks slick. Francis, so, what's happening here? Yet another disappointing uh, Two putt from Brad and Block. Now we have a, a, a bunch of these guys actually did make the green on their tee shots. Uh, What's the opposite of disappointing? A pointing? Uh, exciting. I don't know. Uh, Thrilling. We're, we're bound to have some excitement with this group. Uplifting. This is an eagle putt right here, isn't it? It is. As he left it short. Yeah. Like the line, though, huh? Yeah, I did it. I did it so I can. There's quite a good crowd gathered on the tee box on this hole, though. Lots of, lots of people around. Supporters of Good Good. This blossoming, exploding YouTube channel creating young stars of tomorrow. Just massive now. Sean left that. I'm sorry. Luke left that a little bit low and short. It's your last real good eagle opportunity in the grass clippings. Last par four is the tenth. It's taking a little extra time here. Sean Walsh trying to pick up his partner. Wow, that's big. That is so good. That's really big. That keeps them in the hunt a little bit. Keep it going, though. Got a birdie out. And there's Steve for birdie. We've been talking about that putter of his all day. Once it starts heating up, running out of holes. Same goes for Finch and Trotty. Pretty try on 13. Cox dropping down to get a look. Dan Rappaport. They went matching outfits. I'm just getting the, the same merch in there. Get out here. Don't realize it's this cold when you're in the desert. You're thinking it's going to be nice and warm. All right, back to 10. 247 yards directly at it. Only 210. Bros need an eagle. Minimum, though, at least have a chip at it. That looks like it stayed in grass. Riggs, you licking your chops on this tee shot? You got a 247 yard par four? Guys, unfortunately for somebody like me, this is a layup. I'm looking at that little fairway out there on the right. I can't believe how narrow that fairway is on the right. Seems unfair. It's like an eight yard fairway. <laughs> it's legit. The green is wider than the fairway. It's like the most penal layup. I mean, 
I think he I've ever seen. Micah team. Morris, my good friend who outdrove Roy McElroy, he just reminded me that I absolutely piped one in front of a guy called Tiger Woods. So that's giving me a little bit of confidence. Yeah. I might go for this one. Just the fact that you were able to hit, that you hit a shot in front of him, is very impressive. Thank like, you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys gassing me up. I need it. Thank you. Any, anytime you need gas in that ball, like that. thank you. I'll see you, Brian. That's a great ball. That looks really good. It's at the right center of the green. Ah, uh, comes up a little short. Was right on line. Hey, Wes, came up a little short. The guys are laughing at you in the truck. I, 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 di I, did, I did not hit it solid. There's no hiding it. They're laughing at you in the truck. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, who's, who's laughing? Frankie? How much is it? Or is it Frankie? We're going to talk about the I think it could. I think it could be. Stick with the barstool crew. Dan Rappaport. Can he push it to seven under with Willie Wilcox? He's Pretty easy. They just need golfer. to. They just need to make a hole in one on 14, and they tie the lead. Walk so it you're off. Saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Riggs, did your uh, close personal friend Tiger Woods let you know he's uh, playing next week? You know. Give me a second, guys. Micah Morris about to hit this on the green. Oh, that was pure. I hope you guys are looking at that oh, on man. the coverage, because that was ripped. Oh, just rolled off the right side. That's a good swing. You know, I'm going to see my good friend Tiger Woods next week in L.A., hopefully. I'm very excited to get there. I'm not really an L.A. guy. I'm more from Missouri. So if you guys got any tips on L.A., Savarikas, you look more like an L.A. guy than I do. So if you got any tips, hit me up. I'm uh, more than happy to give you the lowdown. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Los Angeles. You been there? <laughs> yeah, a couple of times. I bet you have. You're more of an LA guy than me too. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't love LA, but we're talking about it. I'm not an LA guy either. Yeah. All right, we got Sharp. If there's ever a guy that's gonna get a hole in one, it's this one. Especially on part four. And I've been locked in on my predictions, so. <laughs> what, could, what could go wrong? Over 14. This would make up for a lot. Oh. Uh, he almost missed the ball. He hit it like Riggs. Good club twirl, though. Good club twirl. You got to act the part with the club twirl. 0 for 15, guys. Club twirl's on point. Okay, we just need the hole in one here. This is their chance, 14th tee. He's stepped up to big moments before. He's hit the we, hole We saw a hole in one at TPC Sawgrass. Yes, sir. This would be sick. He knows it. Ooh. <laughs> Still got a pretty move. Wilcox staring it down. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Not to be. So they're going to post the second low score so far. A few feet left. For Wilcox and Rappaport to get in an eight under, which would be one back of the leaders, Gallen and Krupa. If you say anything about this outfit, the pants at least look comfortable. Taking a look at the leaderboard right now. Nine under leading the good, good Desert Open presented by Golf Galaxy. You look at the board, Dre. What stands out to you? Well, the fact that the leaders were the third group off and they've just been sitting on top of that. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of stress sitting inside the clubhouse right now. I think the Brian Bros can get it to nine? I think they can, but we they need to start getting putts to fall. I feel like a lot of putts that they're hitting are solid. They're just not falling in and just kissing lips. Here we are on 12 with Frankie Borelli. Oh, yeah. 
Frankie. Legendary drummer for the band. Pat Punk. Oh. Ooh, just throwing up a seed. Here's Trotty on 14. Nice thing about grass clippings, there's no real standard rules as are typically followed in golf. There's been a few weights. This is Peter Finch getting ready to tee up his ball here. Big but fan they of have plan is like eight a six. Some. Yeah, six some, eight some. It's a lot yeah. of fun. As long as you're not slowing anybody down, I say play as many as you want. Biggest group you've played in, how many people? Ooh. Probably 11. Wow. Somebody's going to get hurt in that situation, though. There's too well, many balls lot. flying around. Everybody has their own cart. We've gone six subs before. Look at all these shots. This guy's making the game look way too easy on 14. It didn't touch anybody's ball. You're good. with the amount of people that have remained out here. Yeah, two balls move at the same time on the 14th green. Starting to get late. It's definitely not getting warmer past the 10 o'clock hour. Still got more golf to go. It is 10.08 local time in Tempe, Arizona, and we're not done yet. Still more to come. Gotta be nine yards, right? Yeah. Dang, short? I told you, dude, it's gotta be like 140 yards. I got you, I'll show you. 140 yards, I catered for seven years, I eyeball this stuff all the time. All right, let's see you, bubs. Be right, get all over it, get all over it. Looks like you guys could use a rangefinder. I think you're right. Well, lucky for you, I have a Precision Pro NX10. No way. Yep, here you go. Sheesh! This thing's fire, ain't it got the carbon fiber? That's clean. Look at it. Well, what about me? Well, you get a special one. This is the Good Good Precision Pro NX10 rangefinder. Let's go. Thank you, brother. No problem. This rangefinder has slope, a magnetic cart mount, and an interchangeable design. Thanks, brother. Bubs, can you give me a yardage? Yeah, yeah, I got you, brother, I got you. Well, we were not even close. It's 112 yards, playing up to 113. Oh, wow. Okay, it was not 90, I'll tell you that. Watch this. Learn your distances and start hitting more greens with the Precision Pro NX10 rangefinder. Stones at 11. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of work left there, especially when you have two looks at it. Was that a little 60 degree? Yeah, but it rolled out a lot. So if you come in a little bit higher, you got to go high level. All right, line of the 10th, Riggs. What's he going to dial up here? All right, guys, this thing breaks pretty good left to right. He just saw it. He's got a good look at it. I'm not going to make a prediction here because I'm not particularly good at that, but I think this is going to scare it. It's a safe way of me just not making any call whatsoever. He hates it. Never scared it at all. That was really bad. A little short. It's really bad. Over 14 and a half, Rex. Uh, 
Thank you. We'll call it 15 jars. <laughs> yeah, we're already <laughs> come this far. <laughs> well. All right, we got Matt Sharp over here. They're a little bit more short-sided. This thing's going to run away play. from them. It's going to break pretty that. good right to left. Sizing up. They're checking the wind, which is amazing for a chip shot. Um, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Just cocktail in hand. Showing off the soft hands. Frankie, what does he have in store for an encore? Really ace the 12th. Another good shot on 13. Saw Frankie making the turn. And he's like, that's ah, not going great. We're like, hey, we saw the putt. The 20 footer he made on, what was it, four or five? Oh, you guys showed that? Of course, Frankie. Yeah. We show make putts. We need birdies. We need action. If you want to win people over, Rocking the ASU hoodie is a smart play in Tempe, Arizona. Could not agree more. I always wondered why a place like this is not a powerhouse in every single sport. No, I know. How do you not want to come here as a kid? Trotty now back down the slope. This for birdie. Not to be. Fans here are holding strong. Late in the night on a Wednesday. Another birdie try. That misses out right. All right, Wilcox. That for birdie. That moves them to eight under. Not going to get all the way to the lead, but that's a good showing. Dan Rappaport, Willie Wilcox. Second best round posted in the Good Good Desert Open brought to you by Golf Galaxy. Not under the lead, these boys turn it around and eight under in our 14 hole layout grass clippings at Rolling Hills. I thought we were going to see maybe a little ace there at the end when we started spinning that ball back towards the hole. Tig for Birdie. Yes. Come on. Yes. Woo. Hey, hug it out, guys. Hug it out. We're still out. See that eagle? See a little hole in one. Grant there. They're switching it up. Still Got the layers on. Hole in one still in play. A hole in one would be a lot. It's freezing out here, guys. Woo. Absolutely freezing. Cool. Uh, That's good, Chief. Attaboy, Grant. I didn't want to put I mean, that. Hey, let's go. So the leaderboard, Brian Bros, you see it five under. That has you T6. Sean Walsh, Luke Quan, six under through 10. Best round going on the course right now, depending on what the Brian Bros do. Back at the 10th. And nine under has you at the top. One clear, the rest of the bunch at the Good Good Desert Open. With more, let's send it down to Blair. I'm here with Dan Rappaport and Will Wilcox. You guys had some great team chemistry out there. Played really well. Dan, actually, last last night you were telling me that you're going to come out here, shoot your one over, <laughs> and uh, be all right. I think you're pretty sneaky good out there. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about my own ball, and I got a PJ Tour Pro on my side, so that helped a lot. But no, it was super fun. I mean, just the atmosphere locks you in. Like, I, I don't play in front of this many people ever, so to see people and like cheering me on, the energy was incredible. I love that. Now, Dan, you told me also that, uh, Will, you were out here scouting the course, getting all the reads for the greens. He had never even seen the course before, so were you coaching him all day? What was your take on the course, and like, how did the dynamic work with you guys? Yeah, I played them all yesterday, or most of the ones, because they kind of rerouted us, but uh, I got to say, I'm very impressed. Uh, I, we ham and egged it very well. And I think maybe I gave him a good line on 
one hole, but most of them were visible. But anyways, I'm very impressed, and uh, I'm glad I had a good partner, and I'm, I'm just glad that I was invited, you know what I mean? Very flattered. What does it mean for you guys to be part of this first event? Yeah, I mean, epic. this is like, uh, it feels like a culmination of something that's been building for a really long time. This like community, you can see the energy here, the, the people that are here, how many people are here. It's cold, it's like 45 degrees, and there's people lining both sides. I mean, the, the passion that these people have for this, for this community that we've built, I think is really special. We've got hardcore fans out here and a lot of fun. We'll send it back to you, George. Thanks, Thanks Blair. Mason Nutt from half a busted jack on the 14th. Dan Rappaport hit the nail on the head, just talking about the energy culmination of what we've been building up in the space. That's a nasty hop. I mean, there's 100,000 plus views on YouTube before it switched on over to Peacock. The tickets, are, I think there's 2,500 tickets for this event sold out a while ago. It was packed, place was buzzing, weather trash, and it still had an amazing turnout here in Tempe. 13th green, Henderson for birdie. Kalen, Kalen. Calling it. Good thing Riggs didn't yeah, touch a call with that one. To keep Riggs away from these grooves making birdies. Daltouche on the 14th. What kind of a name is Daltouche? Rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? I like it. It's rocking that hat too. Straight into the shop. <laughs> He's a gamer during the week and a golfer on the weekend, sponsored by both Vice Golf and Scuff Gaming. Dalton Hester is the name, goes by Daltouche. That makes it better for me then. That's his handle. What do you think it was like Madonna, Bono, Daltouche? I didn't know, I didn't know if it was his Come last on, name. It's his handle. Scootsy. Catch it? On the green. Tried to. <laughs> Must have looked like it from where he was, too. <laughs> 12th hole, 153 yards. Assignment simple. Francis, for these guys, they got a birdie out. not as close as you're going to want it to be to have a chance. I thought we were going to see Francis, some. these guys know they have to birdie out to, to tie up the lead. You know, I was thinking, guys, these boys need to birdie out if they want a chance. I'll tell them right now. Yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute now. This looks good. Quan, Quan and Sean, you guys are probably going to need to birdie out if you want to have a chance. We are well aware. We are well aware. We do need to birdie out, though. But we were looking at the scorecard, and other people have also birdied out, so we're just hoping that's the case. All right, sounds good. You heard it here first, guys. They're going to need to birdie out. <laughs> <laughs> Our man on the scene, Francis. We've got a rogue fan. A couple fans. Beat it. Steven's tee shot up that left side. These guys are loving the left. 
cool weather. It looks like it's just balls not flying quite as far out there, Francis. Everybody's leaving this short. It's funny you guys say that. I was just going to say, given how cold it is, a lot of people are leaving it short. Francis, that was a great observation. I've lost blood flow to the brain. This is uh, Jordan Spieth's swing coach. Is that on? That is short. Yeah, I was going to say, he he's probably aware of how cold it's gotten because he's left that short. The ball is not flying as far now that it's cold. You hit the nail on the head once again. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Quan. He said, "He said you right, say that, but then I hit everything so. over the green." You're just like, you win. yeah, I think you just went in. I mean, I know we're doing like fifty dollars uh, every birdie for charity for oh, Play Yellow. I like that. That's cool. But I don't think we're doing. Look at that Yeah, no, I see. Yeah. What up? How we doing? Why is there only one ball on the green? <laughs> Who is that? I hope that's me. Is there really only one ball here? So those guys have three or four majors really? covered. Donkey's played in the Masters, U.S. Open. Blocky, of course, we know what he's done at the PGA Championship. The only one they haven't touched is the Open. A tricky little shot right here coming out of this dormant Bermuda. Find it. <laughs> He's pretty classy. And I don't mind this play at all. That grass is dormant enough. It should be able to roll through it all right. What? Much better plan on paper. Yeah, it's always, that's what's great about the scramble. You get your partner to get it up there close and there's not a whole lot of stress. But I would think at that point, you may as well just try to get it all the way there. Not carried a little more pace than he was expecting. Yeah, this is not what his partner wants to see. Cole Lance would have liked that to be up there a little bit tidier so he can be aggressive, but now he's got to really pay attention to this shot coming up. Hundred dollar bullets. I give you a hundred bucks, you make it. Oh, here we go. Now we got some action. <laughs> Prop bets. Honey makes. <laughs> Nobody likes bogey in the last. They haven't made bogey yet, but they got to make right, a ball. putt now. Just listen to what I say. bit of a mess here on the 14th. Got to wait for Frankie and Trent playing with Paige and Kalen. Been waiting patiently on that 14th tee. They're the third to last group waiting to our final group. Riggs, you get a read on this for Horvat? Riggs, I'm going to take that as a hard maybe. Yeah, we don't need any kind of prediction here, just a read. Okay, so I'll touch that. They take us right. Currently at four under. Just trying to keep it respectable at this point. Riggs, we lose you. You still with these guys? We're about for Birdie. Oh, 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 o
Well, I don't know if we want to count that, but I predicted it was going to go left to right, and it did indeed go left to right. Uh, we didn't hear you predict it go left to right. I don't know if you had your mic on. I said it. Maybe you guys just didn't put me on the air, which is kind of rude, if we're honest. <laughs> well, I think uh, producers were just protecting you, so you didn't go 0 for 16. They figured 0 for 15 is the number. They want the streak to stay alive. I get it. <laughs> Let's see it, Garrett. Yeah, that one went left to right, too. So I would say I'm two for my last two predictions. You're white hot. Cole Lance for par. Finds it. Do it. Uh, Quant's second shot at 12 earlier. If only Francis had told him that he had to make birdie. He said, dances by the stick. That left for par. Before we reconnect with Francis, we're going to go back to 11 with uh, Riggs to Damas. No, right, we just had a little bit of a Micah chant coming from the crowd. This guy's all fired up about Micah, which I like. Hopefully that gears him towards a make here. No, 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 no. Oh. You know what? I like that effort. I like that effort. Guys, I haven't seen anything go in yet. Is it like looking in the mirror? Yep. Hey, Matt, keep breath, Matt. Careful, George. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that I'm going to sit here and back you up. <laughs> I can tell by your silence. <laughs> <laughs> Knows what it does. You guys won't believe it. We have another miss here. In the game. The closer I get, the less likely the ball goes in the hole. Thank you. I appreciate that. They're giving me a hard time. Great right now on the cover. It's it. 14th. Here's Paige Sporanic. They're five under par. Seeing a lot of players utilizing the right hand side here. How electric is that shaft? Where do you get shafts like that? Do you think you, is it graphite or is it a wrap? Because I've seen steel shafts that have wraps like that. You're looking at me like I play the same shafts. You know. <laughs> You've got to play hot pink shafts. Get in the hole. Birdie putt. Guys, just a lot of misses on this green in this group in general. Brian a lot Rose. of good ball striking, not a lot of good ball rolling. I'll teach him a thing or two there, Georgie. I mean, you are the uh, Bandon Dudes putting course champion. Earlier, Cameron McCormick, scramble mode. Francis, that's a serious false front there. Sand belt, I like this. Don't worry about our line, it's okay. Sorry, sorry guys. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'm not like this one here. Hi, hi. Trent Daddy. Get that ball on that team, boy. Give the people what they want. We got Trent from Barstool's Four Play Podcast. Rick's talking about his quest to eventually get a sub-90 round. I think he could do it pretty soon with this move. He's had some heartbreaking finishes. If you've watched the break in 90 series with Trent at all. Like par potential for 89 and quads or nines in the mix. <laughs> it's amazing when you start getting that brain in there. You start thinking about it. It's all relative on whatever your level is at golf, but got to get it to the house. Oh, you guys are going to laugh when I do it. I know it. All right, sweet swinging Frankie Borelli. Fan of 
Schrager is pretty trusting. Took a wicked hop. Did zero spin. We've seen a lot of balls spin back. That almost bounded forward. It looked way better than the end result. Third to last group is strolling up to their final green, the par 3 14th. Grass clippings at Rolling Hills. Hang tight. We'll be back after the short break. Do you guys like to go to live events? Do you guys like to do things? Yes. yes. Our sponsor, SeatGeek, makes it super easy to go to live events. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. Bro, how do we get better seats? They rate every single ticket, so you know whether or not you're getting a good or bad ticket. Red is bad. Green is good. So it's that easy? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow, these are some nice seats. This is unbelievable. Shout out to me. We've got sports, concerts, comedy. There's over 70,000 different events that you can go to. Oh my Good job, we have got the hookup. Download the SeatGeek app right now and use code GOOD for $20 off your first order. Guys, this is a phenomenal deal. Let's jump right back into the video. Good Desert Open presented by Golf Galaxy. I got the SeatGeek app on my phone. SeatGeek for the win, 100%. Leaderboard, Ashton Gollin, Ben Kruper at nine under. Dan Rappaport, Willie Wilcox just finished up. Second low round in the house at eight under par. Sean Walsh, Luke Kwan are at six under. Brian Bros also there. Both of those groups would need to birdie out. Brad Dalkey. First on the box. Where is it? They say a really good line. 15 feet short. It's weird, these balls are like this. It's like this. It's like this. Where is it? Like 15, 20 feet short, right? What'd you play that? Green? Yeah, it's all. What'd you play that, Donkey? I tried playing it about 110, 108. If you're that exact. I don't care where it's at. Got some confusion here on the tee. He doesn't know where his golf ball is. Over the 12th a moment ago. George Bryan. Flush but short. I've seen that a lot now. You think the temperature's changed from where it was? Started. I think so. I mean, it's, we're coming up on the midnight hour pretty soon here. This is what's great about grass clippings. You can play all the time. I think we're going to have to confirm that fact with Francis, though. He knows. He knows things. Let's see if Wesley can learn anything from his brother. Gorgeous. Crowd loves it. Briggs, what do you have the over-under for uh, Trent and Frankie today? You know, I thought they would shoot something under par. I heard a nasty rumor that they were over par earlier. Is that true, George? Uh, they won over on their final hole of the day. Ah, uh, you know, that's a real shame. I got to be honest. It's, oh, it's Michael Block go, on the 13th. Gets himself to about 15 feet. He's not going to be overly thrilled with that from only 110 yards. All right, popping you back to Riggs now. Garrett Clark just hit one on the left center of the green. Um, you know, it's 1035. I was told I was about to work till 10 tonight. So to be honest with you, I started drinking about 35 minutes ago. So we're having a good time. Bonus time, bonus cocktails. Paige Sporanek birdies her last hole. 
They start making some getting birdies getting the second half of this round. They went strong to the house. Gets them to six under par. Six under currently has you T3. I pay a lot of money. Yeah, right. Just past pin high. That's going to be the putt that they take, but not the one they were looking for. <laughs> 153 yards here at this 12th hole. Okay, Riggs, put that mic to use. What's going to happen? All right, guys. This is about a 165 shot I think they're playing. Sharp's going to hit this inside of 10 feet, and then he's going to make the putt. <laughs> Put that at what, plus 700? 7,000. <laughs> he almost missed the ball. He almost missed the ball way short, right? Just, yeah, it's, it's farther than 10 feet. You have to chip something in special. People are gonna have to go crazy for that one. That's a pretty steep hill there. Watch out, it's gonna come back and hit you in the shins, right? Yeah, I just jumped over it, guys, pretty quick. It's getting cold out here, I'll be honest. It's nippy, the wind's into us. Everyone here is shivering. Yeah, that's this is Midwest. The crowd's calling it Wisconsin weather. It's never a good sign, ever. Never a good sign. Terrible sign. You don't want to hear that when you're in Arizona. Here comes Michael Morris. This guy's strong as hell. Drawing it towards the left center. It's a good strike. Okay. They got to putt at it. They got to putt at it. Back to you guys. Had to play pretty conservative there after his putt got left him. Uh, well, right. That was fun. Green. That was fun. See you guys. <laughs> it's not my call. You jump in there and do whatever you want. Have fun. All right, we were just talking about Frankie. Moment ago to say par. You'd love to see it. The enthusiasm <laughs> over a lot of the different shots that have been out here, whether it be a drive, whether it be a putt. They're wearing their heart on their sleeve. You have to. Brick by brick, getting in at one over. Sporanek and Henderson started making putts. They started off slowly. All right, let's send it on down. What a solid finish, you girls. I love the girl power here. We got the girl group. You guys finished uh, in third right now as we stand. Oh, really? Did we not know this? Like, no. No, no idea. No. We were I, focused on birdies all day yes, long. Yeah. Always. <laughs> you guys have a really clean scorecard. No bogeys, only pars, only birdies. Kaylin, you hit an amazing shot into 14. Paige, you followed it up with that great putt. How did you guys play off of each other today? What were your strengths? Yeah, we were just good at ham and egging it. I feel like whenever, let's say, I was down, she picked me up, and our putters got on at the end. It was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paige, how would you describe your game today in two words? A little bit chaotic, but again, that I had Kaylin to back me up when I need to, and we made some good putts, and we had yeah. a lot of fun, and uh, our games just really worked together. Mm -hmm. I got to say, it worked out great. You guys played really well. It was fun to watch, and thanks for coming out. Thank you. We'll send it back to you guys. Thanks, player. Not to nitpick a lot more than two words it was but you got to give her give her her credit where it's due she did great we'll be right back here at the good good desert open to beat the best or to beat your best it takes a standard most aren't used to like perfecting our seamless aero design for ultra consistent flight innovating new processes to create a hyper fast soft core using advanced materials to make a ball feel like nothing before. When your standards for performance are high, play the ball that sets them even higher. Introducing Chrome Tour, the new gold standard.
it's a blessing we're able to build a brand and such a supportive community through the screen but when we get to go to these live events and actually shake hands and have face-to-face -face conversations with people and connect with them person to person that's my favorite thing about what we do it's such a blessing to share moments with people like this who show so much love and support and i hope we're able to uh reciprocate bring some joy in their days while they're watching our videos yeah that was a lucky putt at the end of the day, that's all there is to it. It hit the pin and somehow found its way in the bottom of the cup. Wasn't too much but hidden and praying on that one. This was also back before I knew how to chip, but somehow still made golf videos for a living. But we, we've improved, we've gained on that. But yeah, that, that's about all I got to share with y'all from this putt. Chicago, how you doing? Much love. Peace. Shy town represent. Love to see the IJGA support. That's where I grew up playing. Those junior golf events. Cameron McCormick just short there. Nice action with that pitch shot from off the green at 13. I keep talking about how contagious the company is. They're just so positive. It's so easy to follow them and like them. Riggs, don't tell me you called that one also. Up to 13. Sean Walls trying to get it to fall, just leaving it short. Just never seems to get the line quite right. I didn't know you were still with us, Francis. I apologize. Got a little cold. Still here, still kicking. <laughs> Back to 12. That did not scare anything. Luke, Luke Kwan here. It's going to be short. Below the hole as well. Just a rather m mediocre day from our squad. Yes, he did. There we go, Grant. The boys are buzzing now on 12. The only way he made that is because Riggs was silent. George, I was a little bit distracted. A guy just asked me, he said, hey, I smoked a little bit and my mouth is dry. Can I help you? And I didn't really know what to do. And then a putt went in. So <laughs> true story. Oh, my. Uh oh, Ooh, boy, Brian bros. I'll stay silent for this next putt. Must make. They got a birdie out. Wesley did not seem too impressed with George right there. Now he's actually got to regroup. I think he was pretty much counting that. Even George could make this thing. Which George? You. Yes. So that was pretty. Good putt, Wes. Back to you guys. They're at seven under, two holes to go, two more birdies. We'd have a playoff. Playoffs? Hey, you guys are kind of our only hope, so keep going <laughs> for the drop. <laughs> Dalkey, a moment ago for birdie at 13. Thank you. Yeah, let's do it. Well, seems like a sense of relief right there, finally getting one to fall. Nice little vibe as he moves on to the final hole, 14. Have fun. Having trouble getting used to saying that. Last hole, 14. A little different. Excuse me. Good. Uh, That's on me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What'd you say? What are you shooting? I think we're five under. Five under? Yeah, we're back a little bit, but we're trying. Oh! That almost went down. Come on, G. I didn't even feel yeah, it, man. <laughs> Felt nothing. Come on, that was a bomb, bro. Let's go, baby. I don't know how far this is. I'm bringing all my wedges. 
Hey, if you need to put your order in, How cold it is, he may want to bring some irons as well. Last hole, second to last group. Brad Dalkey coming off birdie. What a kick. Take it using the contours of the green. Francis, what's your core body temperature at right now? It's low. It's very low. All those Peloton rides I did lowered my body fat percentage, and I have no insulation. Well, do you know, joke's on you. I think you bounced something. George Bryan back at the 13th tee. Wesley Bryan, talk to me about what's he looking at. Uh, he's looking at a pressure pack situation, and uh, that's that. You need a, we need a ball first contest. Well, that was We're, the ground first, right? That was ground first, yeah. 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 Uh, big, he never does that. Well, he hit the big ball before the little one. We've all. How? How have you become such a top tier ball striker? I want to go through your thought process. I mean, you've been going through everybody else's. What is your secret to success? So I've got a new tip, Grant, that I'm hinging my wrist really quickly, like okay. instantly. Okay. And it's That's changed funny. my ball striking dramatically. Right. Because you roll a little inside. Way inside. Right. Yeah. All right. We got Wesley Bryan here. What's the yardage, gentlemen? Talk to me. It's 111. Um, and they're going to need to put one on the green because that is going to be a par from there, I'm going to tell you right oh, now. They don't want that first one, you don't think? Yeah. I mean, hey, you got a great one to look at here, Wes. Okay. <laughs> Great look. He hit it about 40 yards. <laughs> no, Wesley's a dart. I mean, he's going to stick one pretty close. They, and if they make a birdie here, they, they, they got a great chance of winning this thing, actually. I really think so. Good luck, Wes. Wow, the wind. The wind. The wind said hello. Oh. Um. No. Don't miss balls from I'm going to call it honest. That's terrible. That was a terrible shot. Not good. That was a terrible shot. I could have done better than that. That's I'm the pretty only bad. Pro, pro team <laughs> in the field. Two missed balls from 111 is nuts, guys. Back to you guys. That guy won a PGA that Tour event? <laughs> 14th tee with block. It was a green visited. It was a green visited. <laughs> Well, that's the worst shot Block's ever hit. Ever? Well, maybe not ever, but it wasn't very good. Francis well, set the scene. That's going way left. I've got Brad Dalkey here. Now, Brad, talk to me about your day. What happened? You know, we just, uh, me and Block just didn't quite have it today. You know, couldn't get the putter going. Um, wasn't hitting it very close. We had a good time. We were freezing our, you know, what's off right now, but it's still a good time. Appreciate it. Dynamite, dynamite <laughs> feedback from Brad there. Just really interesting stuff. Cameron McCormick. He's staring at it. Flagging it. Back down the hill, there you go. You wish you had that bill to tip it. <laughs> Here's Luke Quan. That's your guy, Francis. Yeah, he spells his last name K W O N. Wouldn't Sounds like a software program. Wouldn't it be hyphenated too? This looks good. It did good. I didn't quite have the right number. Spun it back away from the hole. Not ideal, but they will have an uphill putt. That's the front. That sucks. I guess it sucks. We got we got Steve here. Steve, tell me about your day. It's been pretty good. I've enjoyed it. It's been a little chilly, but nothing you can't can't beat out here, boys. Damn. My squad stinks. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They've been great. 
Everybody's just giving you gold right now. There's no hope. Here, here comes the hole in one. Just kidding. Psych. On the green. That'll yeah. work. I don't think they'll be using that one. They'll probably take Quans there. <laughs> 40 feet wide left doesn't really compute in any sport. Riggs, what do we got? Am I the actual Great only job, one? All right, we need to do a full segment on this. Where's all the cameras? We need a full segment here. A full segment. We've got it surrounded. And mind you, the 13th hole is only 110 yards. Oh, oh, spin it back to me. Oh. Spin gets the crowd going, George. How could it not? And that's how you hit the green. In the witching hour, officially. Good, good desert open presented by Golf Galaxy. 10.52 local time, Ashton Gollin. And Ben Krupper are at nine under, leading by one over Dan Rappaport and Willie Wilcox. Brian Bros need to birdie the last two, but they both missed the green on 13. I just said this, but again, from 110. Who knows, maybe they can make some magic happen when we return. I want to let y'all know that the big game is right around the corner and our sponsor Underdog Fantasy is here to make it a lot more interesting. You've probably seen Underdog on our Saturday series and now they are partnering with us for the Desert Open. Shout out to them for making stuff like this possible. Underdog is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. Just go on and pick higher or lower on your favorite player stats. If you pick right, you win big. Underdog offers the option to pick on basketball, hockey, football, and much, much more. Pick whether your players are going to have a higher or lower stat total in this week's game. You can pick between two to five players to make your pick a entry. You go out there, you pick right, you get them all right. You can win up to 100 times your money on a single game. Underdog is available in 30 plus states, including California, Texas, Florida, and even our friends up north, Canada. Now it is time to bring in our sports expert, Brad Dalkey, to show you who his picks are. On over to you, Brad. For the big game, I personally love Christian McCaffrey, higher than five receptions. Um, I think the defensive line of Kansas City is going to be all over Brock Purdy. Lots of dump offs to Christian McCaffrey. I like Travis Kelsey lower than seven receptions. And then last one, if I can find it, Jake Moody higher than one and a half field goals made again. And it's in just like that. It is that easy. With that, if you are a new customer to Underdog, you can pair that pick with Patrick Mahomes going higher than one rushing or passing yard combined. All I have to do is go for one yard and you win. This is the easiest way to make money on Underdog. So make sure you use the code good or scan this QR code and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Also, Underdog is giving away a $500 Callaway gift card to one of you if this entry hits. So make sure you sign up using code good and see if you can win the $500 gift card. Second to play, oh, gotta make this Wesley Bryan. This is 13. Know, is. This would be pretty magical. No way. Oh. The early walk. You can't do that, Wesley. You knew the golf gods weren't going to allow you to make that happen. Riggs told us earlier. No, it did for half a second. Then it's not That's a real shame. That's how you got Riggs? You can't quick step it. I told you earlier the golf gods hate when you do that, and they did not like that out of Wesley there. They hate that, man. Hey, get there, get there. Get there, go, get there. Gotta get to the wall. Serious pace. That's one of the worst putts I've ever seen, guys. Wow. All right. Line, Everybody's getting numb yeah. out here. There's no more feel. Yeah, I really, really they can feel their hands. Really I appreciate you guys being that friendly with the excuses, <laughs> but that, you know, <laughs> I mean, like, sometimes it's just a bad it, it, effort. Literally right at 
I'm not kidding. It, it <laughs> fell left. Handsome cat. He's got everything going for him. We can give him a hard time. You know what I mean? Oh, really? I wonder what makes you say that. The other four are just huddled into a ball trying to share body heat. <laughs> and you know what, Grant? That one's on me. I'll wear it. I'll wear that one on the chip. Nice lag by Grant. <laughs> Those are the putts that you just can't be having today. You just cannot be having them. Got one more hole to go. Five Good. Hole one to shoot seven or Call it, Francis. Lucky. Just a day late, the dollar is short, but here comes Sean. Sean's looking good. Sean's looking good. You didn't catch You want to say some bad things. We got Quan right here voicing his distaste. Nice pot, Tim. Oh, birdie out of Tig on 13. Incredible putt out of Micah Morris. These guys are about to heat up right when this thing ends. <laughs> right on their way to the parking lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to meet him at the time when this thing heats up. Shout out NBC. That's it. They do it right. It's cool to see. It's like a PGA Tour event, but it's not. Right. It's, it's us basically in a PGA Tour event. Watching that broadcast is so cool to see. Yeah. Like, who would have thought that YouTube golfers one day would be in a situation where they are on a PGA Tour level broadcast? It's just insane to think about. So, yeah. thank you all for making this happen. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, Incredible. Okay. On to the left. Michael Block at 14 trying to finish strong. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Thank you to the good, good guys for breathing life into this and having this actually come to fruition. Awesome to see the vision they have, and even better to live it with them here at the Good Good Desert Open. Fun to follow along, fun to follow along. Starting to sound like Eeyore out there, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Toddy Pepper. Oh, Steve, no. For God's sake. Francis, one word to describe what you've seen today. Uh, you know, famine. <laughs> <laughs> not a He's nibble, insane. not a nibble in sight. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. It's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> oh. Got it. Hey, Cam does that. Steve's so thankful right no. now. <laughs> no, dude, what is this looking like? I mean, Matt, there you go, Paul. Matt is still on our And that's the group. Thanks for following along. You guys are at seven. Good stuff. Good stuff. Francis just seems like a beaten down man. You've, you've hooped a seven hour before. I have. And then there was one. One group left as you're watching the Good Good Desert Open brought to you by Chrome Tour from Callaway, the new gold standard in tour balls. Guess where we're going, Andre? The last hole? Nailed it. Tell me that this is the last hole. Everybody's getting cold. Guys, it's chilly out here, but I gotta be honest, I, I, these guys are kind of feeling a hoop de doop right now, which would change the entire event. It would. It would you change got a good the feeling here, uh, Brian Bros? Uh, George is the one that I have a good feeling about. Even if not, we can't, like, to start the day, you won't have a chance to win on the last hole, and we we're playing the last hole with a chance to, win, to, to go to playoff and then may win, but still. If we need an ace. We need something if, special. But if, still, if Steve Lowry talk me through this shot. True. Once talk me through the shot. We should be off the left, right? Dead off the left. Hold a draw at the pin. <laughs> Lands, kicks in, goes in. It looks like it's breaking a little left to right. That sounds amazing. So be sick of it. On the green, you're reading the break on the green. I am. I'm reading the break. You want me to run up there and check it for you? <laughs> no, I can see it. I can see it. I'm locked in. <laughs> no, let's That's pretty have, fast. Let's have Riggs run, please. 
Riggs, I think you just yeah. need to get as far Mike, away Mike, as you uh, possibly can Matt's if they want a chance. Matt, come on. I'm going to predict that they miss here. Riggs, can you say hoopty doop one more time for the fans? I've actually, I don't even think that's a real term, so I apologize. Don't look into that. You want me to show you the way? I'll go first. This is kind of nerve-wracking right now. This has to go in. Guys, there's a lot of nervous energy on this team. Even if you're not in contention, this is just cool. There's a lot of fans around, maybe thousands of people. It's nighttime. It's beautiful. It's cold. It's a tough swing right here. Sharp's got it. He usually makes it one, so this probably should go in. Losing that one out to the right. He agrees that might go in. Guys, what I meant to say there is that uh, hit off somebody's head and kicked 40 degrees left that might have gone in, but 0 for 17 on predictions. Here comes Michael Morris. He's still pretty strong. Confirm, still strong. 168, I'm gonna guess he's got a little eight iron in this cold weather. He just looked at me, confirmed. He could hear me, which means I gotta be quieter. Riggs hasn't quite perfected his golf whisper. You gotta keep talking, but be quieter. It's a whisper, if we're honest. That was never known as a whisper, but. Oh, this oh, could be really good. A... Oh, yeah. Micah Morris with a gorgeous golf swing with an eight iron, which I called. It kicked off the hill onto the green. He's happy. The crowd's going crazy. Nice way to finish. Beautiful, really. All right, we got George Bryan coming up here next. All right, this is the only group in this sixum that has a chance one of these brothers has to make it. This has to go in, guys. Let's see something special. It's a beautiful golf swing. It's a little... That's not it. He absolutely nuked it. He's juiced up. I get it. The environment's exciting. A lot of people are going crazy, but let that's not going to win you the event. Let the pro know that that was rancid. Um, you guys can tell him that. Uh, you know, we're a little bit intimate now. We're kind of friends, and I'm kind of embedded with this group, so I'm not going to tell him that. But Wesley Bryan here. What do you got there in your hands there, Wesley? He's got a seven iron, it sounds like. So this has to go in, guys. Better plan on taking a little bit of juice out of this. Sounds like a lot of club. Rick's crunching the numbers. They're two back. They need a hole in one here. Yeah, in my spreadsheet, that's that's right at it. That is all over it, and <laughs> way too much club. Uh, when he pulled seven, we thought it was going to be about 20 yards deep. I'll be honest. You guys in the booth are clearly better at this than we are on the tee because you guys called too much club. Uh, these guys aren't even close on that. I don't know what's wrong with them, but <laughs> good looking shot. Way long. Watch yourself. We're going to get a club to the head here. here comes Garrett. His hair is flowing. He looks amazing. Somebody. Oh, that swing looks just as good. Yeah, it's pretty sexy. Find it. Oh. Got me out of my chair. Wow. Took a peat. These guys are finishing strong. Uh, Ruber has it on the tee box. That was a nine iron. Oh, he didn't want to hit the seven after watching Brian just ship it over the green. Uh, the Brian bros hit seven irons right into your guys' booth, I think, a yeah, second ago. Rattle the clubhouse. Adjustment here. Got one in there close. Free wheeling. That's just fun to watch. 
Oh, do it. Oh, oh took a peek oh, at it. Riggs at first bounce Damn. landed right by the hole. Mr. Horvat, they said that took a peek at it on the coverage. That took yeah, a peek at it. Good. Nice swing. I think that did, man. That would have been nice to finish that way. It's been a battle. It's been a battle today. Oh, a good swing. Oh, yeah, thank you, man. That's we haven't weird. had enough Francis time of the broadcast. Let's let's pop it down to him. Yeah. No, no. Hi, yeah. guys. I'm here with it, two man. losers. Uh, <laughs> we got Luke Kwan and we got Walsh. How are you? Um, I'm worse now that we've lost. So, yeah, not an ideal day for the boys, but uh, at least we're not warm and we're cold as heck. So, yeah, just happy that you've had us standing here for five minutes without doing anything. Now, what went wrong and what could you guys do better next time? Um, I feel like could have probably been a little bit more preparation on my end. I'm going to wear that one for the team. Uh, to be fair, he's just had a daughter, like literally two days ago. You had a daughter? I, did have a, I had a daughter Monday morning early, 12.30, so shout out Remy and Allison, uh, my wife. She was a stud. So so that's cool. Bright spot to an otherwise, yeah, relatively unproductive day out here. So. <laughs> wow, that's so uh, amazing. And Quan, um, <laughs> do you hope to have a daughter someday? Um, I would like a son rather than a daughter, but why? I don't know. Same answer for you, no? No, no, I'd rather have a daughter. I don't want anyone challenging my <laughs> supremacy. Um, it's been a great day. Thanks to Good Good, and uh, we'll be go back to you guys. You got a feature in there. Um, he's <laughs> an absolute gem <laughs> to have on a broadcast. I think anybody would be happy to have... It's too much fun. <laughs> too much fun. Another peek at the leaderboard. Brian Bros in a heap of trouble. They needed an ace on the last, but uh, they're over the green long. So Ashton Gall and Ben Krupper are going to be the champs. Let's send it down to Blair. 14 green with Brad Dalkey and Michael Block. You guys don't have the excuse that you just had a, a baby two days ago, do you? <laughs> <laughs> but we do have the excuse of the cold. Yeah. And, Michael Block, I know before the round you told me that you weren't going to look at the leaderboard or the scoreboard or anything. Did you do that today? What was the strategy? Because I know you like to watch the scoreboard. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think we were both were – we knew what was going on. Um, I don't think that was the problem. I think – I don't think we played terrible golf. It was just – we were just hitting it to, like, 15, 20 feet, not making anything. Couldn't really get – we didn't have, like, that long putt to go in to get the momentum going or anything like that. We just didn't quite have it. And uh, – it's all right. We had a good time still. And how would you say, Michael, that playing a Saturday round of golf differs from playing night golf in really cold weather? It's a different animal, I'll tell you that. Uh, no excuses, though. It's still golf. And I had Brad as my partner, who's a stud. Golf happened today, and that's all it was. It was golf, and it was great. And, you know, some guys played great and made the putts and hit the shots when they needed to, and I'm happy for them. And had such a great time, and thanks to Good Good, Golf Galaxy, you know, Peacock, and YouTube being out here. Uh, really cool event, and we appreciate you guys. Absolutely. At the end of the day, this is what it's all about. People are out here watching you guys, cheering you on, loving every bit of it. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll send it back to you, George. Yeah, great to hear. I mean, it, it's amazing to get everyone together for the Good Good Desert Open. It's such a fun watch here in Tempe. Can we get to a tie for a second at least? I've been pretty impressed with Wesley's short game today. He's still got the chops. Yeah. There's a reason he went on tour. Yeah, there's a reason he's still getting some starts. It's not great, guys, when you're touting somebody's short game in a par three competition. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's 100 percent true, but it has been impressive. <laughs> two two <shea> rigs. <laughs> I just got to look back from Wesley, so <laughs> I'm bad. How many lookbacks have you have you had today? Quite a few. I, you know, George, you kind of said it perfectly. Like I I haven't mastered the the Colt Nose <laughs> voice yet. I don't know how he breathes that hard and walks around and talks that <laughs> softly. I got to work on that. Hello. How are you guys? Riggs, you know who you remind me of when you're on the tee trying to whisper? <laughs> Who's that? Brick from Anchorman. <laughs> <laughs> I got some work to do. But. 
room for improvement there. Yeah. Buckets. Uh, there we go. Way to go, Tig. Buckets. That's all we've seen all day, baby. Just pouring them in. <laughs> Out of way, Tig. I mean, you look at Garrett and Grant, that slow start they had, bogeying the par four. Dang, I mean, he's just been hammering the last couple of putts. <laughs> Dude, Grant makes this, they'd be in at six under. Then you're thinking that what it could have should have were, right. oh man, if they had gotten off to a better start. Right, if they could have somehow found a way to eagle that hole, they'd be tied, tied for the lead. And yeah, they kind of blew it to be out. Yeah, you know, if, if this final group was in contention, it'd be a lot cooler. But uh, yeah, we still had a great time. Let's let this puck go in. Birdie yeah. the last. It's <laughs> a way to end on a high note. Hey, what if they're going to be kicking themselves for that bogey at the first par four, number three? <laughs> So six under has him jump up to T4. Nice. What a time, huh? What a time. Tell you what, the way that this all came about and everybody coming out and supporting this, I don't think this is going to do anything but grow. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I'd to see what they look to do in the future. I mean, the string numbers that they have, they're too super impressive. That's on me as well, George. Hey, that was fun. I'll, I'll take all the blame. Hey, blame when we, when we get the blame. cameras off and the mics yeah. off, you can yell at me. Nice. <laughs> we fought hard. Great. What do we finish? Six? Six, six, six hundred. Six hundred. Six, five, six, six, six. What were you? Seven. <laughs> One shot back six, seven, from seven. the boys. Five, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. That we was awesome, done. brother. A lot better. Wow. Yeah. That's all right. That's well, a wrap, though. Wow. wow. Watch this. Special is stuff. that like a formal outro? Or? Yeah, is there like well, an outro we got to do? to uh, do the awards. Whoever yeah, is let's go winning. I don't know who won. I think it's Ben Cooper. There you go, George. Because they're like all mic'd up. Cooper and uh, Ashton? Yeah. Yep. Ben Cooper. They played well. Nine under is nine phenomenal. Under. Phenomenal score. That's I said really nine score. under was going to win it. Did I not tell you that? You, you said nine, ten, or eleven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just gave yourself three chances. <laughs> yeah. But nine was my first guess. Wow. One of them. Yeah. What is, that's all that matters. That's the first. I, I truly felt like there'd be a lower score than nine. I thought you guys were going to come out swinging today and shoot an 11. No, but we're not swinging. You swing. We were just missing. Yeah. You can miss. Where are wow. we all? Yeah. Unbelievable. That's cool. I could make a putt today. Come on. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm shivering. shivering. Thank yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, it's cold. Animal. Let's go see who won this. Hey, we got the winners. Right of nine under par, we're gonna crown a champion next. It's part of the Good Good Desert Open presented by Golf Galaxy. How y'all doing? We are excited to announce our new partnership with Yeti. We've been a big fan of their products for a long time, especially Steve. Yeah. How do you use them? You know, I spent hours on the river and as you guys know, I have the Yeti with me at all times. Anyways. What do you think, Brad? I think out on the golf course, trying to keep your drinks cold. Yep. I think Yeti is always a choice. Also, speaking of choices, coming soon, we are gonna have the Good Good and Yeti products coming out. We have golf exclusive products. We have products for on and off the course. We've seen them. We're super excited for y'all to see them. They look mad, beautiful, mad dope. But yeah, Yeti's built an amazing community over there. We've been blessed enough to build an amazing community over here at Good Good. Excited to combine communities and grow the game. Remember, we are all built for the wild. Congrats to Ash and Gollum, Ben Krupper at nine under par. They're the winners of the Good Good Desert Open presented by Golf Galaxy. Dre, we saw a lot of these groups on the first page of the leaderboard. 
Which one do you think is going to leave today thinking, man, I really should have won this? Who do you think had the best chance that ultimately came up short? Doesn't have to be the runner-up necessarily. It could be a bulky putter. Well, I'm going to throw in the runner-up. They had Willie Wilcox. Dan Rappaport is a scratch golfer in himself. Will has played on tour for a number of years. Both Brian brothers both played. And, yeah, but let's, let's see what Riggs has to say down below. All right, guys, we're down here with Bobby and Sharf. You guys, you know, beautiful event. A lot of people here. It's getting a little bit chilly. How does this feel for you guys? Because I got to be honest, as a guy that's kind of in this world, but I just <laughs> met you guys a couple months ago, this feels insane. It is. This this event, I mean, you know, we've obviously done a couple of lives in the past, and, and you just come here and you see all the people, you see all the support that we have, and it is it is just truly, truly amazing to see all these people here. And, and, you know, you play some fun golf, you have fun. You know, I don't really care about what I score, but, you know, you just come out here and say, You're a liar. You care yeah, about I'm so score. pissed right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's what I was saying up there, too. Like, these live events are super dope, and yeah. for me, the golf is a secondary part of it Absolutely. all. Like, me and you and everyone, these people make what we do possible. They come out here, they support us, and the fact that we have the opportunity to meet them and actually yeah. personally get to know them, take pictures, sign autographs, it's a blessing. I it care. Is. I like talking more than I like golfing. So I like meeting people. <laughs> Why do you think I'm wearing this fanny pack and not hitting golf shots? Uh, were you guys nervous out there today? Oh, 100%. Well, the first four holes for me were very nerve-wracking because I knew that those are going to be the most crucial holes out here. And, you know, we started par-par. We started off terribly, and that's we missed a lot of putts out there, and, and that's how we lost, 100%. No, I knew my group wasn't in contention. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time. Yeah, your group I had a good was time. a vibe. It was a vibe. <laughs> I had a good time. Trevor Bauer was out here throwing the ball. You know, he's Cy Young award winning pitcher, so we just had fun. Yeah, that's yes, awesome. sir. You guys rock. Awesome event. Great showing. I think it means a lot for everything that you guys do, for everybody in this this weird world that we're in, that, you know, we're trying to make it work, and everybody shows up. So extremely cool. Good work, guys. We're going to throw it back to, uh, back to Blair. We're going to have a little ceremony. Congratulations to the winner. Let's throw it to Blair. I'm here with the champions right now, but most importantly, I have Matt Kendrick, the CEO of Good Good Golf. Would you like to say a couple words? Uh, we just want to thank everyone that played tonight. Couldn't have been possible without everyone playing and participating, but also I want to thank Golf Galaxy for supporting us and being a big part of tonight. Uh, but, and all the fans watching at home, we got Garrett here. Garrett, we got Ashton and, and Ben. How about this? Nine under. He, he wanted to get his hands on that trophy. He's like, nine under. I had to at least see it, you know? I had to feel it. I had to see it. You got to give it up, though. You know that, right? Yeah, no, unfortunately, I do. Oh, man, it's so pretty, but you guys deserve it. Congrats, right, yeah. boys. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you so much. Ashton and Matt, you guys played hard. Yeah, yeah. You guys played hard. Congrats, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry talking to you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Any closing words? Uh, this was truly just a blessing to come out here, and I just, I, couldn't be in a better spot right now, but um, it's huge to receive yeah, this trophy. Look around, take it in. I really can't, but it's a <laughs> yeah, really cool experience. We didn't know each other a month ago, and here we are, and just this is what dreams are made of, right? This is awesome. This is a great event. Shout out to Good Good. Shout out to Golf Galaxy. Awesome stuff here. Oh, really yeah. loved it. Every second of it. Had a blast. Yeah. The fans are great, too. I love it. A great time out here. Thanks to everyone. Thanks to, most importantly, everyone at home who's watching and tuning in. We had a great time here at the inaugural event. We look forward to many, many more. Absolutely. <laughs> here, here, Blair. Well said. Let's take a look at the full swing of the day now. This was on the third. And I fell in love with Cooper's swing the first time I saw it. I've Absolutely. watched that on repeat. Over and over and over and over. And then for Eagle, why wouldn't you? Yeah! It's a big putt to get them going whenever you can eagle the third hole of the day. Went birdie, Put eagle, two. birdie. And that catapulted them up the leaderboard. And they're your champs at the Good Good Desert Open, Andre. I'm very happy to see that they had Give two trophies, for one guys. for each of them. I was thinking that they were going to have to cut it in half. What a night in Tempe. Good on the good, good guys for putting this event together. Final thoughts, Joe. I had a ton of fun. I was happy to be a part of this inaugural event. A good, good group is starting big things. I think this is going to be getting bigger and bigger as the years go on. Yeah, hats off to them. Big golf clap from line, everyone involved and everyone in the industry uh, to see this I come together. Uh, thank you to our producer, Chris Olmeyer, all the hardworking men and women behind the scenes putting long There's hours today to make this happen. Brian. It was an absolute blast to see this come to fruition.
the Good Good Desert Open presented by Golf Galaxy. And we are signing off from the desert, your champs at 900 par.